Hey guys, it's Ollie from Flight Comp, and I have a project I'm working on that I thought I'd share with you guys. Uh, maybe you'll find it interesting. So on my workbench here, I have a pair of Optimus F5J wingtips, and as you can see, they are pretty badly damaged. Actually, they're just flat out destroyed. And I think uh, these were destroyed courtesy of the U.S. mail or perhaps some other courier service in Europe um, while they were in transit to the States. Um, yeah, so they're basically trashed. So you can see the damage is really extensive. And I got two, two, two planes in this shipment and they were both basically like this, like all the parts were pretty much destroyed. Now these tips, I didn't really want to throw away because I had a kind of a cool project in mind and I've started working on it so I, I figured I'd share it with you guys. As you can see, I've cut the uh, ends of the wing tips off on both sides and what I've done is glued them together to make a little mini Optimus. Maybe I'll call it Optimus Micro or something. So these are the very tips of the two wing panels, which which are in in this this th these two parts here are in really good shape. I basically cut away right at the end of the damage on both panels, and I've epoxied them together. And I actually put um, a wood spar and some carbon in here that attaches to the spar that was already in these wings and some mounting points and the mounting points have uh, epoxy and cabosol around them so they're they're hard points and you can see that the ailerons work and everything the hinges are still there and good And what I'm going to do, or what I've already done, is I've made this little guy here. This is a little fuselage pod that I designed to fit specifically this wing. Uh, I designed this really quick on the computer, and uh, actually the next day, uh, my buddy Brian... Um, drove over to my house and handed me this part and this was a 3d printed part and it was a uh, really cool just to you know go from a computer design to a 3d printed part in one day um, obviously the 3d printed part or this part wasn't as nice and smooth as this when he gave it to me so this has had a lot of sanding and priming and filling and it still needs to be polished a little bit more but you know it's pretty easy work. The 3D printed part wasn't that bad to uh, to finish out. You can see at the end kind of what it looked like. This was the um, original texture of the surface before I put some primer on it and wet sanded it. You can see it again here. And to go along with that, I have the canopy for it, which is uh, right here. And you can see here the. Uh, this is the original texture of the plastic 3D printed part. And what I'm going to do with these is take a mold. I'm going to take a mold off these and lay up a uh, fiberglass and carbon fiber fuselage for this little wing and uh, try to make myself a little micro optimus. Sorry for the. Uh crappy uh, video quality here, I'm just videoing my laptop, but you can see here this is the actual uh, 3D um, drawing of the fuselage pod that I made. This is pretty quick to make, it, I didn't make it super accurate, um, it took me maybe an hour or two uh, just drawing it up here on the computer and you can see um, you know some of the sketches and work planes and 
and lofts and things that I used. Uh, but yeah, really neat. Um, with uh, 3D printing now, and uh, you know, if you know some of the software like SolidWorks or Inventor or Rhino, um, and you got access to a 3D printer, you can do a lot of neat stuff. And uh, this is really the, one of the first times I've used a 3D printed part to make uh, composite molds. So I'm pretty excited about how things will uh, will turn out. I have here the splitter board for the mold. So just cut out of some thin ply and some little bracing pieces right here and uh, I'll show you guys generally how I'm going to assemble this to uh, start making the mold. Um, since I designed this pod in the computer I was able to just print out um, the profiles of the pod and some cross sections and I just traced them on to this wood and, and cut it out with a Dremel and did some filing and sanding to get the fit right. Um, if I had access to a laser cutter uh, this would have been way easier to make. I could have just cut these out really quick with a laser cutter but I got I guess I got a little uh, impatient and just wanted to knock everything out real quick um, so so yeah there's the uh, Micro Optimus fuselage plug and the parts for the uh, mold splitter. Now what I want to try to do with this um, mini Micro Optimus is utilize as many of the um, parts that I can from the broken models um, that I have lying around. Like for example this is a uh, um, one of the uh, vertical stabilizers and as you can see it's been snapped off right there and it has a little bit of damage there but I'm thinking maybe I can cut a little piece out to use as the vertical on this project and maybe I can cut the same amount off of the rudder as well and try to try to keep the parts true to the plane uh, I don't want to really have to fabricate a whole lot of stuff from scratch um, I do have this section of the boom that was broken and I actually designed this part of the fuselage to fit um, the length of boom or I should say a length of boom from the broken boom um, that I can use for this airplane so it should slip on here pretty nicely once I cut the broken um, ends of the boom off um, so I'm hoping that'll be a good fit and for the elevator I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet but I think I'm going to make a full flying elevator just just like this I'm not gonna use this original setup because it's, it's way too big for the elevator this model needs so I might go in here when I cut this off and, and put a little bell crank in here and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the elevator yet um, I might use an Optimus elevator and, and cut it up but we'll see um, I don't have a whole lot of time to dedicate to this project at the moment so it's not something I'm going to be you know working on every day but you know as I do a little bit and um, get it going I'll, I'll try to put some videos up on YouTube and show you guys uh, the progress I think it's really um, fun, uh, neat project, and uh, at least some of the broken parts from these planes won't won't go to waste. So, all right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.